Thanks, Top. So quick, what do you think when I say eels? Do you think, <laughs> perfect. Do you think slippery, slimy, snake-like, or do you think mean, nasty, sharp-toothed, and strong-jawed? Or do you think delicious, sweet sushi? No. How no. about benevolent ride-sharer of the Potomac? Leave it to Bruce Lashan to bring us a story that might change our perspective. A century ago, the headwaters of the nation's river teemed with eels. So many, they fed Lincoln's army and George Washington's too. Today, they are almost non-existent. Their amazing migration to the Sargasso Sea and back, blocked by dams erected to power the cities built along the Potomac shores. Now comes an amazing project to get thousands of eels past the dams. Scientists from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Pacific Northwest National Lab outfitting a hundred eels with tiny acoustic transmitters. The transmitters will allow researchers to track the eels' favorite migration routes and build an eelway, a special passage to get the eels past Dam 4 and to build it in just the right spot. Eels are tough. It's, uh, they don't get appreciated nearly enough as they should, but they're an integral part of the ecology of the river. I mean, it's an amazing part of it. Freshwater mussels are also super important to the Potomac River ecosystem. They're the teeny tiny filter feeders of the river. But the only way that those freshwater mussels can get around is by hitchhiking a ride in the gills of an eel like this one. So, no eels, no freshwater mussels upstream, and much, much dirtier water. It could very well be crystal clear. Crystal clear crystal clear. The eel passage here at Dam 4 could be finished by the end of this summer, and the eels could be migrating up another 250 miles of the Potomac by next spring. In Shepherdstown, West Virginia, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. That new eel way should only cost $150,000 to build, and Cube Hydro, which owns the dam, is helping.